Okay, and now after everything's registered and you're happy with how you've cleaned up your data, typically if it's necessary, not always is it necessary, but this is when I would actually apply color to all of my data. So let's go do that. Go into processing, process scans, apply it to, again, you can sequentially or just selectively uh, apply data to single scans, but I want to do it for the whole project. So let's click here, process, colorize, do not skip fully process scans uh, because if you do, uh, as far as the program is concerned, it thinks that the grayscale is fully processed and it will not apply color, but we want to do that. So let's not skip. Uh, undo the scan point filters, the distance filter, because they were already run upon the first processing. We don't need to refine spheres. We don't need to do any registration either. So it's really a very simple thing that we're doing, only colorizing scans. So let's go ahead. And again, depending on the size and the number of scans, this might take a couple of minutes, hours. All right, so we're done. Processing is finished. Colorization is done. And now the last step is really just deciding what you want to go into. If you want to go into a AutoCAD environment, you can just close and open this in Recap. Or if you want to go into a different environment, it might be something that you may have to go into exporting and maybe export the project as an lsproj file, which would be the laser scan project file that Faro saves, or you can actually export it into a recap project bypassing a recap completely. Uh, this way you don't have to have recap installed at all and just finish uh, processing and generating RCP and RCS files. It is easy, but it, once again, it will take a couple of minutes, maybe a couple of hours to generate. So completely up to you. But at this point, this would be pretty much the last step of processing of the point cloud. Now the next step would be opening it up in a third party software where you want to do your drawing, extraction, uh, feature recognition or anything like that.